Dear Peasants, this is how I work on my palette with the brush once I have the colors mixed. So we essentially, if I want to, I'm looking and I say, okay, there's a value between the two, right? How light or dark it is. I think about how light or dark something is and then I go in with the color, right? So you're observing, you're observing and you're thinking, okay, I want this about this light right here. It's in between the two so we get this color, but what happens right here? Here, let me make this a little bit larger. What happens here? This color right here is, is dead. So, meaning it, it doesn't have as much color. When we mix between two different values, we get the, the light or dark value, but then we have to add color, which is why this method is so great because we have already, we have our primary colors up top and this is acting, this is a limited palette acting as a primary color right here, which is, which is black, but we're saying that's blue because it does kind of blue things out, it cools things out if we mix it with white. So we can draw between the primary or the secondary color. So if I say I want it more orange, then I can go up here and I can make it more orange, right? If I want it more red, we can make it more red. So essentially I'm thinking of two things, the value and then the color right here, right? So say we want it more green, you get the idea, right? Then we can green it out here and we can really, really push it, right? We can really push it. So now we have a green value and we have this red value that we can work with right there. Now, normally when I'm painting, I have uh, different brushes. Uh, you know, for, for something like this, I might have about four or five different brushes. I might have a brush for the midtones working within this value range right here, one for the highlights, one for the ultra highlight, you know, and one for the darker uh, midtones and then uh, the, the darkest dark around here. So four or five brushes. So brush organization is very important in this process as well. So again, let me do another demonstration here. We're mixing between the two here and say, okay, this, we want this a little bit lighter and then maybe it's something a little bit more yellow, right? You get the idea. So guys, this is a very simple concept. We just mix between the piles of paint that we already mixed. So in this manner, we don't have to continuously mix and remix all this stuff like, you know, all the uh, peasant buttholes do without thinking because th their brains are so small. We, in fact, have taken the time in the beginning to mix the colors out and then we are using our substantially larger and superior brains to organize uh, the color, uh, colors uh, on the brushes. And so it's gonna show in our painting and that's why we are going to have superior work and be able to flaunt it to all the peasant sods out there. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got.